Okay, so in this video, I quickly want to show you how you can enable Google Authenticator on your Bybit account for you to withdraw. This is going to this is just a practice account. Okay, um, I will suggest you move your funds to spot trading for you to be able to withdraw. Okay, so if you want to withdraw your USDT, just remove it to spot to spot wallet rather. I don't even know why this one is even divided like this, but since we have 1.7 USDT and we can withdraw it from the spot, I will just use that as an example. So I'm just going to go to withdraw. So as you can see, it's telling me to do what? It's telling me to set up Google 2FA authenticator authentication. All right. So I'll just press um set up. All right. I'll just press set up. It means that you must have uh downloaded the Google the Google authenticator app. Okay, so you can go to your Apple Store or Play Store for you to download that. You send verification code to send to email. So I'll just go to my email box. I think um, which email did I use for? Okay, all right. So this is it. So I'll just copy two two eight eight one oh nine two eight eight one oh nine. So so please install Google Authentication app on your phone. So go to your Apple Store or Play Store okay so i'm using an android i'll just go to play store then type google authenticator it's for me to download the app so that's it so you can see that i already have the application so that is why it's telling me to open so even i'm not having telling me to install all right so i'll just go back and open the google authenticator so here is the application here so i'll just open the google authenticator app then um this particular i don't know it's like i even use this one for for one of my baby baby account i can't remember but it's like well it's like i've even i've even done one for this particular account before maybe for lesson two but i removed it because i always advise if you are my student i'm sure you know that i always say that once you have used google Authenticator, try to remove it back if you are my student i believe you already you already know better i always say that don't leave Google Authenticator on. Bybit is only telling you to 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 enable it because it's the most secure way you can secure your account, and they believe that for you to be able to withdraw, you must have to pass through this security process. But anytime you withdraw your funds, please disable it back. I always advise that so that when your phone may be lost or damaged, you can be able to access your account. If Google Authenticator is on and your phone have issue, have have an issue, you won't be able to access your account so please immediately you withdraw your account just disable the google authenticator and, and immediately you want to withdraw again you can enable it it's as simple as that it's very fast you can do it you can do this in less than one minute all right so i'll just continue all right so tell me to what copy key and add to google authenticator so i'm just i'm going to copy this key and then go to google authenticator then press this the plus sign here all right press it then enter code then I'm just going to name the account by bit by bit second account. I'm going to enter the key, then add. Okay, so I've added it. So I'll just copy so now for me to I just go to next. Now it's telling me to what? Telling me to input the code. So this particular stuff actually you can see it is reading. You can see it is reading. So if you want to, if, if if so if, so if you want to copy this code, make sure you are copying it very fast, because once once once, once this thing is um uh I finish reading, that code will expire. It means that you need to use under code. You need to what come and use under code. So you can see that this thing, this one has almost expired. So I'll just wait for it to reload me under code. This code changed like maybe every thirty seconds or something. So so you can see that it has changed. So nine nine one nine oh three nine nine. Nine nine one nine eight three. So I will advise you always copy because it has it has it's successful. So, so, I, will, so I will advise you always copy. Ah, uh, so you always type it and not copy. So I will just need to input my password now for me to log in. So after the after you have enabled the Google Educator, it will log you out. All right. So I will log in now. I will pause this video for me to log in because of my password. So I just put my password now and when and and when they, uh, I want to log in. It's not asking me for that Google Authenticator, so I'll now go back again. Okay, so to copy it, but it's, it has almost wants to finish reading, so I'll just wait for it to give me another code. All right, so I'll just wait for it to load. What I want to know, make if you are you can have different Google Authenticator stuff, but make just make sure you are using the one that you created for it. You no, know, that's why I name it 
by bit second account. Okay, so 630 734 6, 630 734. Let me show if I'm correct. 630 734. Okay, so confirm. All right, so you can see that I'm logged in to, the, to that particular account. It's, it's going to load my balance. Okay, so as you can see. That's loaded it. Okay, that's guys that's loaded it. So it's it's as simple as this, guys. You can do this under one minute because you know I'm teaching you, that's why I'm using like five minutes. So I hope you get the point now. So with this, you can withdraw your phone. So if I press withdraw now, I'll be able to withdraw. You know, the other time I could not even come to this particular place. So, guys, and like I said, go back to your settings here. Come to the left corner. The left corner. Okay. Then come back to security. And please turn it off. Okay, turn it off. Okay, so for you to turn it off, it require your password and then to get the Google Authenticator. So I'll just put my password and then get get the uh, the Google the Google Authenticator code. Okay, let me get a new one. Like I said, I'll try to put it off after you are after you have with your phone. So six two seven six five nine six six two seven six five nine. I think I'm correct. All right. So I'm just going to confirm. So it logged me out. Then I'm going to put my password to log in back. So I've put my password. Now I'm going to log in. So I, I removed the Google Authenticator because I've withdrawn my funds. Now if he wants to withdraw again, we have to input the Google Authenticator. All right. So I'm do, I'm not just leaving the Google Authenticator because it's very dangerous if you lose your phone. Uh, if you lose your phone. To access the account to be dangerous okay so guys that's all as you can see i can now this one is not it's now what it, it can't function again because if i want to if i want to enable it again okay if i want to enable it again all right i will have to put it on you can see so which means i will have to it, it, so it has to give me another key to set up so which means that this one now is not functioning again okay so i can delete it just to avoid confusion all right so that will be all for this video i hope you have get the point yeah